Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Kristen again. And I just wanted to share with you today the things that are in my carry-on bag that I use on every single trip. You buy a lot of things, right? And that you think that you might use, but then they, they just go unused and they're just taking up space in your bag. So I wanna share with you the things that I take with me on every trip and that I have used over and over and over, like they're tried and true, and I use them on every single trip. So we'll just get started. I'll start with the things that are in my carry-on that I use the most. One of the things I use the most is my Lark water bottle. I'm trying to get that in focus for you all. So I use my Lark UV filter water bottle. This is a 25 ounce, I've got it in black, and I love that I also have my name on it, trying to bring that in focus for you. I'm not sure if I can, let me see. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I use this on every single trip. I bought this because I was gonna be traveling through areas that are known for having water quality issues. So I love this because it's a big size, 25 ounces. It's got a UV filter on the inside. So you can change the setting from 30 seconds between 30 seconds and three minutes of water purification. So you tap it, you tap it once for 30 seconds, tap it two times for three minutes of purification. And I can definitely taste the difference in the water, right? If I even do it in my tap right now, uh, the taste is totally different even after the 30 seconds. So definitely the three minutes is a really good time uh, to put it on. It's really nice, clean taste in water. And I worry less about whether I'm gonna get sick or not when I use this bottle. And I also have the Lark silicone sleeve that goes around the top so I can clip it with the carabiner to whatever bag I'm you know, going around with. I clip it with the carabiner to my bag. The silicone sleeve, the silicone sleeve protects the bottle top and uh, <laughs> it's not easy to put on. I will say that. That's the one thing I don't like about the silicone sleeve. It's not easy to put on, right? It takes a little bit of maneuvering, but once I get it on, yeah, it definitely protects the bottle top, keeps it from getting dinged as I'm moving around everywhere. Yeah. Oh, the one thing I want to point out too about the water bottle is that you do have to charge it, right? So there is a charging port just here on the top of the bottle. Almost had it. <laughs> there we go. Charging port on the top of the bottle that does um, the connection is USB. So you can use any uh, USB charging block that you have to charge the water bottle while you're on the go. So that's one of the things I use all the time. The other thing I use all the time, even on the plane, anywhere really, when I'm sleeping, traveling, I need to compress, I use my slip. Okay, I use my slip silk eye mask. I love this thing. I have it in black, so I'll open it up for you. It's got a little magnetic closure on the box. Got a silk eye mask inside, right? Love it. Nice stretchy elastic, it's very comfortable. And I love this part, which is the contour around the eye. So it keeps, a, <laughs> it's designed for people who have long eyelashes or, you know, lash extensions, right? But I just love that it's a little cushioning. It keeps uh, the silk from rubbing directly on my eyes. And I love this, I use this all the time when I'm traveling. It's great for on the plane. It helps me look and feel refreshed after a long trip. You gotta have it, we use it every time. I also buy these, these are KF94, which is the closest to N95 masks that I could find in like this trifold, right? So I love these masks for being on the plane or for traveling or for when, yeah, when the air quality is not so good for so wherever I am. I love these trifold masks. I love that they're individually packaged, slim. They're wonderful. I have to have these with me all the time. No matter what is going on in the world, I always have these with me. Also, another thing that I need, <clears throat> love these. These are Element, trying to get this in focus, Element electrolyte packets. So it's got salt, magnesium malate, potassium chloride, and it's twice as much sodium as your regular hydration packet or the average hydration packet i'd say and so they are pretty salty this one is unflavored but i really i like the salty taste a and then b it really helps like to keep me hydrated one thing actually when i was in italy i went to venice it was extremely hot and i was sweating like crazy like everybody else but i was actually experiencing an electrolyte imbalance and i actually had to leave i was trying to go to the basilica there in uh venice and i had to leave and go get medical attention thank you Thank God there was a Red Cross 
<laughs> there just happened to be a Red Cross stand um, station set up on the Basilica. They did an EKG and several other tests and realized that really what was going on was that I was dehydrated. Um, but not just not enough water. My electrolytes were out of balance. So they gave me electrolyte um, powder, right, to take with me and also to drink on the spot to try to get everything going again. And I felt better. Actually, you know, I had to leave come back to the basilica the next day. I had to start all the way over. But that was a you know lesson that I learned. I always have these with me, especially the element um, that are really salty. <laughs> the sodium levels are higher there. I really, I like them. I like the salty taste. I don't mind that. But uh, sometimes I don't want that taste and I also get these. So these are liquid IV, hydration multiplier, and this is a white peach. This thing does not want to focus. White peach, trying my best, but anyways white peach liquid iv and it's sugar free there we go that helps so this one is sugar free and it's sweetened actually with stevia yeah so it's got stevia leaf extract as the sweetener it's not sugar based so that's good yeah because i don't if i have to take more multiple of these a day i don't want to have a bunch of sugar added to my diet for no reason right i would like to have that come from cake right so things i use all the time definitely these okay so then other than that Let's see. Okay, next is my pillow, my neck pillow. I love this thing. So it, it is a sky pillow. If I can, there we go. Sky pillow. I love it because it does have a hard case, a carabiner to clip it. Like if you want it to go on your outside of your bag instead of inside, it does zip here, all the way around. All right, keep it up here so we can see. So it zips all the way around, or at least it should. Yeah. So open it up. It is a memory foam pillow and I love that it folds down right and um when you put it on it's hard to do <laughs> looking at myself like this is hard to do so yes it snaps on and you can adjust it and tighten it around your neck so it doesn't like fall off so you don't have to worry about it you know going missing <laughs> right I love this and it's good for so when you're sleeping on the plane it helps to hold your head up I love it and I love that it you know it folds down has a hard case I that's one thing I don't like about regular neck pillows is that people have them like you know hanging on the outside of their bag and I just think it's dirty <laughs> if I'm honest I didn't want it to be clean as clean as it can be right so I love that it has its own carrying case I could just put it back zip it up one thing you are going to have to do is give it a little muscle to get it back in there because it expands pretty well so when you want to put it back it's a little bit uh, of a different story than getting it out but that's another thing that I use all the time on every single trip of mine even like you know when I'm riding the train on my last trip to Europe I rode the train a lot and it's you know it's not bad taking the train. I really enjoy it. Even if it's like a six hour um, train ride, it's not bad, especially when you can get some sleep and you got your trusty dusty neck pillow. So I love this sky pillow, one of my faves. Another thing I use on the plane a lot, especially on long haul flights, I'm into skincare too. <laughs> Travel and skincare, those are definitely my two things. This mask, snail jelly mask, my skiderm. I love the sheet mask. I use it, you know, in my everyday life, but I also use it on travel and long haul flights when your skin is getting all dry. I put this mask on. It is very like moisturizing. It's rich. I love it so much. And yes, I put a mask over the top of it to help like lock in the moisture. Okay. Is it attractive? No, but I don't care. I love this thing. It is a silicone mask that you put over you can put it over sheet mask or if you put like a skincare serum on your face. So if you're going to use this at home, you can just put it over your skincare serums as well for a few minutes to, uh, well, okay, 20 minutes. Put it over your skincare serum for about 20 minutes to help it penetrate and soak in. So again, it's not good looking. I promise you that. I don't mind. People can look at me like I'm crazy. I'm fine with that. But I love this thing. I put it over my skincare mask at home and also when I'm on the plane because it really just helps the moisture and the serum that's in the mask really penetrate your skin. This is my favorite. Last I checked, this was not available anymore. I haven't been able to find it anywhere like in the whole world, not even Amazon, not even eBay. I haven't been able to find it anywhere. But this one is a silicone mask that's infused with 24 karat gold. I don't know what the gold is supposed to do, to be honest. But I do like the thickness of this particular mask. Like, I've seen other silicone masks that you can put over it, but this one, I love the weight on it, and I have not been able to find it again. If I'm able to track it down, I'll definitely let you know. 
where I found it. And I will link another option in the description box as well. So I love the sheet mask and the mask to go on top. Definitely need that. Okay, everything has been all over the world with me. It's not pretty anymore because <laughs> I use it a lot. My favorite hand cream in the world. This is Ahava. Ahava Dead Sea Water Mineral Hand Cream. I love it. It's almost gone, as you can see. This is a 3.4 ounce size. So I know TSA may have uh, let up the restrictions on the amount of liquids and gels and things that you can bring, uh, but this is still compliant, uh, the 3.4 ounces, because other countries don't have the same rules that we do. So I always try to stick to that anyway, uh, regardless of what TSA is doing. I try to keep in mind that other countries may not have actually joined us yet <laughs> with that same rule. So, love that hand cream. It's amazing. I tried that the first time I went, the only time actually, I tried that, I discovered that when I went to Israel, to the Dead Sea, and there is an Ahava store, and I want to say spa there on site. Definitely a store, maybe a spa there on site at the Dead Sea, and oh, all those products are really good, but the hand cream is my top favorite. Like, I love that stuff. I have a large bottle i want to say it's about 10 ounces that has a pump and everything i love it so much that i even bought like yeah a 10 ounce bottle of it to use every day as well another thing that people don't think about especially when you're on the plane you still need to wear a sunscreen because a flight attendant told me that there are uv rays that are actually bouncing around they get trapped in the cabin uh, so there's uv actually bouncing around in the plane while you're you know while you're in flight so one thing that i do have is a small sample bottle of sunscreen and it's tiny because i don't want to use up all my like liquid restrictions on sunscreen so i have a small little sampler size and i have a full size one that goes into my checked luggage i cannot get this to focus at all i'm sorry so this is the roche posay and antelio 60 and this is a SPF 60 broad spectrum sunscreen. It's a three milliliter size, so 0.1 fluid ounces, really tiny. I bring this on the plane with me. It's lightweight. It is a chemical sunscreen. I'm fine with that. I don't want a white cast on my face. <laughs> yeah, so I really like this one. Okay, something that I, my foot is asleep, y'all. <laughs> something that people don't think about or wouldn't think about using. So my little sister, I have to thank for this tip, but the best lip balm, the best deep like moisturizer, the best, you know, hand cream for like super chapped skin. Like if you're traveling somewhere cold or it's just winter altogether, the best product that I have found that I can use for a lot of things is actually A and D ointment. All right, this is a 1.5 ounce tube. It is animal based product. It's a, extremely effective. I love it. It's the best lip balm. It's the best lip balm I've ever used. <laughs> it works so well. Super moisturizing. It gives a kind of like a gloss effect too. I love it. It's great for like every day and it's great for travel because it's multi-purpose. So I definitely want to use things that are, you know, multitaskers. This is one of those things that I use every day and I definitely use on every trip that I take. What else? All right. I have my pocket size lint roller this one is a scotch bright brand there we go it's focus for you and it um has a little tab to slide it up use it lint roll your clothes i always leave the use sheet on the roll uh, just so that nothing else gets stuck to it when it's super clean and then it goes right into your carry-on very useful i use it all the time to stay neat on the on the go thing i use on the plane that i really love and i can't live without i have to use it on every flight like you know when when you're in descent on the plane and your ears are popping and it hurts so much i try to avoid that at all costs because it just hurts so bad so one of my favorite things in the world are these earplanes this is the second generation design at least i i don't know I'm not gonna make anything up. I think these are the second generation design of the airplanes, I'm pretty sure, but I love them. I have, a, I bought like a three pack of them. I lost the first pair. So then I knew that the second time that I bought them, I was gonna need more than one just in case it happened. And so that's what I did. I have the three pack and you know, I've got two 
in in the wing somewhere waiting for when I lose these again <laughs> and I can't live without them I love them they help so much they just totally alleviate that pressure that's built up in your ear they're not uncomfortable to wear they're kind of you know discreet if you care about that and uh, so helpful because it really does hurt when I uh, when the plane is in descent and I can't take it I'm a baby about that so I really love these so helpful what else okay I spilled perfume on this I'm still trying to figure out how to solve that problem <laughs> because it's a little sticky on the outside and then also a little perfumey on the inside and it's my toothbrush so yes I love my Brill Can't see that yeah perfume on the outside this is a Brill UV travel case for your toothbrush and also sanitizer so when you put your toothbrush inside you when you close it so okay this is how you open it press tab here your toothbrush is inside and when you close it there is a pulse of a um, uv light that helps to sanitize your toothbrush so it keeps it you know clean and everything while you're traveling i i really love this it's also got a magnet on the back there's a second piece of the magnet so you can put it on the wall and mount it if you want to use it at home um, i use it on for travel so i don't use that piece and the other thing is my battery powered toothbrush i bring this with me everywhere this is spin brush um yeah i really like it i like both of them they're very nice also this is my favorite toothpaste and i bring a three ounce size well used as you can see colgate optic white renewal high impact white toothpaste other than that let's see okay things i just used that i that i bring with me and i found that i needed on a couple recent trips that i took that i you know i wasn't well prepared for i prepared as well as i could but there's just things that didn't come up in any of the vlogs that i watched in any of the blogs that i read right no one gave me the advice i'm about to give you and so here we go i went to egypt and to cuba and one thing that i found was that a lot of places in public did not have either tissue or soap and also in dubai i did find some things that were like when i was out of the city limits did not have tissue or hand soap in in the bathrooms so that is a problem i solved and i won't have it again right i bought this and this is Cog coglins i think that's how you say it tissue on the go and it's a small tissue roll i keep it in this hard case and take it with me everywhere that i go now so that i will never be without tissue again i always have some sort of some sort of wipe with me so when i first encountered that problem i did have something but it wasn't like designed for that purpose so now i always have this tissue a small roll of tissue just to take with me everywhere that i go it's really thin it can go in any bag that i'm going to use i love the hard face to keep it clean and i take that with me now so Next, if you're ever going to somewhere like Egypt, yeah, when you're out at like a, a lot of the sites, like when I went to the pyramids, the bathroom there didn't have tissue. And I was like, what? This is such a, and maybe it was because it was so busy. I'm not sure. But it was, they were out of tissue. And so I will never let that happen to me again. And the other thing that I found was that there might not be hand soap in a lot of places. So I got this. I got a roll of paper soap. So it comes out as a sheet. a little stubborn okay so it comes out as a sheet you use this sheet of paper soap and you just lather it up like you would anything else there is also a serrated edge here to help you rip that so rip off a piece of paper soap wash your hands like you normally would very very nice to have i wish that i had that when i went to egypt and to cuba and the other thing i have a different version of that so that's a paper soap and a roll and when i have something i have like a smaller bag that i'm going to carry i have paper soap in a little carry container and it's in sheet form so just open it up and then there's sheets of paper soap inside just pull off a sheet and you know lather your hands as you would a, a liquid or bar soap as well all right like this Things that I use that are nice to have but not must-haves, right? I like to bring this with me on the plane as well because it is calming. Can't get it in focus. It's a calming scent and it's also refreshing to my skin, right? So this is Altea Organics, Organic 
organic Bulgarian rose water. Two ounce size. It's got a pump top. Sorry, a spray top. It's got a spray top. There we go. I'm trying to bring it to focus. There we are. And I use this, you know, if I feel a little bit anxious, a little nervous, or if I just want to, after, especially if I use a moisturizer or even the A&D ointment, I will mist my face and then put this on to seal this moisture against my skin so that it stays hydrated for a longer amount of time. It's a nice to have, not a have to have, but I really do use it all the time. So now I have to re-up and because uh, I'm running out. So if you're not fond of fragrance or you just want something that's a little bit less feminine, <laughs> I guess I'll say, I also have this one that I take with me. It's an Evian Mineral Water Facial Spray. Try and see what size it is. It's a 1.7 ounce and it's got a spray top as well. There we go. And I use it the same way. Let's give it a little mist. Feels great cooling on the skin. It's lovely when you're traveling somewhere hot. And also I use it if I just want to moisturize my skin a little bit. <laughs> it looks a little sweaty now. But yeah, I use this if I want to moisturize my face on the go. Or if I'm outside and it's hot, I will definitely re you know refresh my face, cool myself off, whatever I have to do with either one of these sprays and i will say the price point on the evian is a little bit lower than the uh, rose water so it's definitely more you know something i can use more often um and not feel bad about it right i think that's it i think that's it all the things that i love yeah i think that's everything i hope you enjoyed it if you have any questions let me know i definitely want to know what you have in your carry-on bags that you use all the time I'm always looking for new things that will make my travels easier. If you have any travel questions you'd like me to answer on the channel, let me know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Take care and I'll see you in the next one.